Hello friends, welcome to the part 5 of this series. In this video, we will create our first model and first route. That will be the product model and the product route. So in the previous video, we added some more middlewares. We loaded our config file here and we also connected the database and we are storing everything in the uh, .env file. Every variable is there like port number, my database URI, everything I'm storing there. So let's quickly go ahead and create the first model here. So I'll right click on the models folder, go to new and JavaScript file. I'll name it product okay, with the capital P. So the way you create a model is using the mongoose schema function. So first of all, we need to import mongoose. So mongoose require mongoose. Next, we'll define a variable with the name product schema so that we know that we are uh, working on the product uh, model. And this will be of type new mongoose.schema. Okay, it's a function and before we do anything else let's quickly export it module.exports equals to mongoose.model and we need to give it a name so we'll name it product with a lowercase p and it should be in singular because whenever you create your uh, documents inside this collection so the collection name will be in plural like products okay and the second parameter is the schema name so our schema is product schema okay simple so this function the schema function accepts some definitions so how our model should look like so let's quickly go ahead and do that first thing it needs is a title and the type of the title will be string of course and it's a required field so required set to true and if it's not set I'll send an error message that says please enter a title next the comma category okay now category is a special property that you can say just not of type string or anything but it will be an array of uh, different uh, 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 object IDs okay because my product can belong to more than one category okay so it can belong to electronics it can belong, belong to gaming like that so it will be of a special type that is mongoose.schema.types.objectid and you see my IDE helps me a lot uh, with, with, with its intelligence power okay so I don't have to remember all these commands Okay, so it's a special object ID type. That's a mongoose object ID. So I'll store in that here as a reference. And I'll also use the ref keyword here to reference it to the category uh, model that we'll, that we'll be creating later on. Next will be the price. It's of type number. And of course it's required, not offer I mean, you can, but you don't want to offer products for free, do you? Well, please enter a price. Next, I want to have on sale type of Boolean. It could be either true or false, and default is false. I don't want to be it on sale by default, and required is false. I don't want it to be required. And when my product is on sale, I want a sale price as well. It will be of type number. And default is 0, 0. You can, of course, give it a default value. And required is, of course, false. It's not, not required. Next property I need is main image of my product. We have type string because I'll be storing the path to that image not the actual image inside this property and the required is false 
next I want images to be an array of strings are required is of course required is false next I need a description of my product type string required is true this time it needs some sort of description of course please enter a description next time I need a short description well this is optionally if you want you can enter it or you can simply skip it okay and I'm putting it required as false so this is my schema of the product uh, object okay and if you if you see here in my C data I have created few JSON files that store some dummy data and if you see the products uh, file it has the same format here okay so this this ID is uh, the mongoose ID and I uh, generated these IDs online so you, can, you cannot enter anything any uh, gibberish value here it has to be a valid MongoDB ID so there is an online generated tool you can find on Google and use any random number here okay of course I will be sharing these files if you want to use these feel free to do that from a github repo so once this is done we will go to our routes folder right click new JavaScript file. This will be my products. Products route. Okay, this is my first route here. And to create a route, I need express. So I create use express or require express. And also I'll require the product model. So I'll go to require not required. Require. To the models folder and it's a relative path always okay now we need to create a router and this will be express dot router with the capital R I guess yeah capital R and you should always go ahead and export this router without any miss before you code anything Make sure you write this export command, otherwise, we'll get a lot of errors. Okay, so to check whether it's working, so I'll create a route first. So, it's a get route, default route, and it'll take a request and a response. I'm using an arrow function here. So, I'll simply send the data product route working. Okay. But right now it will not function because we have only created it we have not used it anywhere so i have to go to the app.js file and after you define all the middlewares here go here load routes so const routes are product route equals to require Uh, this will be routes slash products and app dot use will be my slash api slash one so one products product route okay so save the changes let's see our console here it is connected now if I go back to my browser and say slash api slash v1 slash products hit enter okay I get this product route working so this means uh, my product route is working I can query anything there I can send data from here to the front end or to the requester okay and since I also have this product model here I can query my 
can use it to query my database. And the way we do that is let's say const prod let's do product dot find. So this will find all the products here. And so instead of send, I can use JSON method and send products to the front end or to the requester. But this will be an empty array. So let's see, save the changes, whether we get an empty array or not. Send. So, okay, so now the problem is that this returns a promise, right? So we need to make this function async and await this. So save the changes now. Go back to Postman, hit send. So we're getting some data here. So let me check the uh, environment file. Okay, so that's not admin. It should be node API. Save the changes. Restart the server because whenever you make any changes in the config.environment file, you need to stop the server and restart it. All right, let's see. Go back, send. Okay, now uh, it's empty. See? So this is working. So we know. Uh, we, are, we are able to query our database and we are able to send a response back to the requester. So with this, this uh, brings to the end of this video. In the next part, we will create some more routes. We will create our controllers because we don't want to put the route logic here inside the route file. It will make things very, very confusing. In, in, in a short amount of time. So we, we want to keep our uh, route logic separate in controller files. Okay. And we'll simply call the controller method here. We'll see that in the next video. Till then, please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it with your friends. And if you have any suggestions or feedback, put those in the comment section below without any hesitation. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.